What's up, Stefan from Two Boys here, and I would like to give you some Mac Pro tips or MacBook Air or whatever Mac you have on how to keep it clean and have an awesome time with it. So let's get started. First of all, I'd like to touch up on upon having your desktop clean. This is a beautiful display, and having a bunch of files or programs all over your uh, display will just mess it all up so don't be a pc user and just put all your stuff on your desktop me i just have one folder with everything i need right here i never even use those what i mostly use is just spotlight it's in the yosemite version it's really useful and i just love it second of all use tags they're one of the most useful things you can ever use mine aren't available because i haven't used them in a long time but if I were to create a file right now and put it in one of the tags, it would appear right here. I'm out of school. I'm in summer break, so that's why it hasn't showed up. But during school, I use it all the time. I have, here I'll show you all my tags that I have. I have science, socials, I'm going to grade 10 right now. Uh, socials, English, playing pen, uh, French, purple, and purple, I don't know where I created that. And home, that's everything I do at home. And it's just so much easier to organize your stuff and instead of just searching it up just go folder tag press the tag wait oh here it is i just press hide um you see here planning pen english socials space prod french purple and then home it's one of the most useful things you can use and i'm really impressed with it next we have an app called views 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Fuse. Yeah. So pretty much it's like uTorrent, but it's for Mac, and I find it a lot better. Here you can see that I downloaded four movies today, and it works really good. I downloaded a couple yesterday, but I deleted it to make it more organized. Um, so what, what I really like about it is you can just go on Safari, type in torrents. Yeah. I'm already loaded up. You go type in a movie, like say for example, Fury, right? Mad Max Fury. You copy this link, so I do command copy, go here, command B, and right away it, and then you press enter, and right away it starts downloading. It shows you the percentage. Only downside, it's pretty slow, but all torrents are the same. It goes at about one megabyte per second. You think that's not that long, it takes about an hour movie, but when you have three, four, or five movies, it adds up four or five hours, even more. Depends how close you are to your internet. I really suggest using a wired connection when downloading, don't use Wi Fi because it's going to take a lot longer. And say you want to download on a USB stick, download it directly to your USB. Don't download it on your computer and then transfer it to your USB because it takes a really long time to transfer it from your computer to your USB. Especially say you have 16 gigs, that's gonna take about half an hour and it's just a waste of your time. Next, I will well, lastly, I will like to touch up upon MacFan. So this is a really cool app. I found that the fan in this doesn't really talk really good with the temperature of the computer. So I doubt it's called right here mac fan control so what this app does it, it's let you control the rpm basically what the rpm is how many rotations per minute the fan does to whatever you want so you can do change control say i want 5000 around 5000 i do okay and it tells me the rpm and the temperature if it's dropping high i mean and i can adjust it and if I want to get off it, I can just do reset to automatic control. And I really love this app. And that about wraps it up. My main points for this video just keep a nice, such an awesome machine with such a nice display. This is the MacBook Pro 13 inch. And thanks for watching. Go down and subscribe and like it up. See ya.